Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to continue our series on Don't Do This. This is, I believe, the fifth one so far. And we're going to focus on reverberation because I see a lot of uh, misunderstanding in this particular area. So let's define reverberation. What is it? Well, it's the energy that's reflected off the walls, floor, and the ceiling because we have six surfaces in our room. Remember, four walls, ceiling, and floor. So energy is bouncing off of all that. Once it leaves source, once the energy from this video leaves my mouth, it becomes the domain of the room and the room controls it. I no longer control it. I can increase amplitude. I can speak louder, but the room is still going to handle that energy based on the dimensions of the room, the absorption coefficients in the room, and everything else that's uh, involved in that process. Let's take a look in, in this photo here, and you can see that intentions were good. The individual realized that he has to do something in the room, but the amount of treatment, we always know that we have to have surface area coverage when it comes to reverberation time because it's the four walls and the ceiling that are producing the problem mostly that we can treat. It's a little difficult treating the floor. But if we can get surface area coverage on those surface areas and we can increase that coverage to 60-70%, then excuse me, we're in pretty good shape. If you can see in this photo here that there's some foam on the angles of the walls, but not even close to the kind of percentage of coverage that we need. I would hazard a guess in this photo here that these pieces of foam aren't making any difference at all. It's not audible, I wouldn't believe. So we have got to have a lot more surface area coverage in this room, especially for the chosen usage. And in this next picture, you can see the same thing. We've got one or two panels hanging on the wall. So that's not going to meet our requirements here. Another thing we want to realize when we're chasing reverberation is that we don't mix treatment types. All foams are not created equal. All middle and high frequency absorbers are not created equal. Most boxes filled with building insulation, which is the standard product today for most co uh, companies that we see out there, is building insulation over absorbs at middle and high frequency. So you actually drain the life out of your mids and highs. So it's real critical when we're managing reverberation to deal with rate and level. You want to choose a technology that has the appropriate rate and level for what you're doing in the room, especially if it's voice. If it's a vocal room, we need to know what you're doing in there. So we want to choose a technology that's designed with the proper rate and level to match the usage that you're doing. So just remember, reverberation is the reflection off all the wall surfaces, easy to hear. Um, not, not a difficult thing to identify, but here's the trick. Getting that 60 to 70 percent coverage to bring the reverberation times down into, you know, the, the range that you need for your usage. Now, what is that? Well, control rooms, we, we like the one second to one and a quarter. Most rooms we see are three, three and a half seconds. So we got to get this kind of coverage to bring them down into that range. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.